Peggy 18. We return to Doug on the big screen here. My big screen, I mean. Winning and dying are designed to be actually fun. People really unlocked levels of sophisticated team play that I wouldn't have expected this early on. We've taken the best part of single player action games, the animation driven combat, and combined that with the best elements of multiplayer shooters. Community is everything. We're going to make sure the community is well involved in the development process of this game as we crank forward. From your first session, you can jump into and immediately have fun and immediately have a great experience. It's not our game, it's their game. We want to make sure the player experience is awesome. That's what we're about. It's very easy and fluent to jump into and you can also master it and become a very skillful warrior. But it's all about face-to-face -face war. So I would like to ask impromptu people, are you guys ready to rock over here? Yeah! Ultimo Continue, are you guys ready to rock over here? Yeah! All right, let's get this started. Continue trying to rally. I've seen crazy stuff happen before, but that would be a really tough fight. We've got Doug in a good one-on-one -on -one here. Actually, he's joined by four of his teammates collapsing on that load enforcer. Gamers continue to Cinderella story all the way to the grand finals. We, we were missing our coaches. Now I'm joking. No, they were really good. Ultimo, continue! Yeah, Ultimo, continue. Uh, they, uh, they really crushed it in their first match, but the second match, the individual player skill of the impromptu gamer, I think, totally just went out. I had doubts about how impromptu they are. They had this opportunity for us to get in there. We had never played the game before. Had only heard about it a few days before, and uh, wow, what a blast. We got in on the very first match. Uh, really, really good time. That uh, action-packed game, for sure. We're, we're in the same guild together, so we know each other. We play MMOs, and this is a totally different type of game. It's very and The other fun. five are random guys. These were just eight dudes that randomly happened to be in line at the same time. They've made it all the way to the grand finals. You are dealing with a bitter injury to your left hand. I can still reach all the keys. It's fine. Been, it's been a blast to run the tournament, just seeing the different teams. One of the things our game is designed from the beginning is to have esports part of it and the competitive part of it, so we definitely are very excited to have our first taste of that at QuakeCon. But here at QuakeCon, I mean, this is this is just the, the, the prime people. This is the people that are most interested in this. And it's just awesome watching them sit down because they, they get the game. And it's pretty cool because, you know, the first five minutes, they're like, uh, how do I drive my dude? The first game was a bit of a learning phase. And then the next five minutes, they're like, uh, when should I use all of these tools? We figured out the classes pretty quickly, so it looks like it's going to be a really fun game, highly competitive, tons of fun to play, just an adrenaline rush nonstop. We have the explosive adrenaline-driven experience when you fight. Then you have the environmental storytelling. For me, it's very important in every game I do to use every pixel of the environment to tell a story rather than just recreate reality. with the Art of Warfare, and we're all from the Quake Wars division. Uh, we've played competitively before, but we figured new game, why not? Let's give it a try and have some fun. There we go, Chris dropping that. Mark Strike in a group, there we go. Good kills by Chris there. Chris, aka Tiffer, looking for those one-on-one -on -one fights. That's a great way to play the duelist there. Things are getting pretty hungry. So we originally came in for Counter-Strike, and so we, and this was kind of something we saw, we're like, oh, this looks kind of cool, let's give it a shot. Hoagies for hunger. Yeah, hoagies! Resident dude bros of the Battle Cry inaugural <laughs> tournament. Dude bros. Dude bros. Dude bros. Yes. Dude. Chris escaping damage from behind. Oh wow, he gets hit by that EX arc strike. That's critical okay. stuff. I got a hoagie. So tense. Wow, just one point away for your yellow team. Yeah. We went out there, we gave it our all, you know, we really played the, the game. How do you think you guys are going to match up against the underdogs, the pickup gamers? Well, we watched them a little bit earlier and they have a fantastic team. I think it's going to be a really good match and I look forward to it. Awesome, just one last question for you, Lazarus. What frat do you guys belong to? <laughs> we're not a frat, we're actually a nonprofit that uh, really raised money for our nonprofit Over charities. Over 6K so far! So we've already raised about $6,000 to fight hunger in the North Dallas and uh, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, I've got to say, you actually successfully just made me feel like an <laughs> asshole. Ian is a talkative fellow, so yes, at work we definitely uh, we definitely know he has uh, has the ability to announce and announce loudly. I also have been practicing talking for 31 years now. <laughs> 
I can't say which one would win only because they're two very distinct styles. The Hoagies for Hunger, these guys are like really big on communication. They're extremely defensive. They're constantly talking to each other about what they should be doing as a unit. And then if it's the team impromptu, I think their passion and their repetitive play and individual skill is what's going to pull them in. Heads or tails today? Heads. Red seconds, tails. Hoagies versus hunger peaks aside. Tough call. Want yellow. Just the only thing we do is stick together and sort of zerg around and hope we kill them. Alrighty, folks, we're about to begin here. In QuakeCon 2014, are we ready to rock? Let's get started. fantasy of being a warrior. Thank you all, Paycon 2014, for making this happen. So long and good night. Ah, we'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs>